Small Farmer Dre back at it. It's another beautiful day here on the farm, but I want to thank everybody for stopping by. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. It is time to go ahead and pull plastic on the high tunnel. It is January 4th or 5th. I'm not even sure. The new year is here and I'm already confused. I mean, what am I good for, right? <laughs> but anyways, what? it is 50 degrees outside right now, about 52. We're gonna go ahead and pull plastic. The wind is mild. It is perfect time for us to pull plastic. Since the tunnel's been done for almost a week now, completely finished, and it's just been sitting here, but now that we had a beautiful day, it's time to pull plastic. Let's go ahead and get started. So both of the end walls are complete and we'll install the doors later, but now it's time for the top plastic. And just to see there, that end wall is done. The sun is still on the downfall, so it's still super warm out here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the plastic and get it done here. I don't know how uh, I'll catch some of these shots here, but I'll try to do my best here. But just, we just throw some strings over, over top here. We got some uh, softballs or some baseballs to tie at the end there. And just you know four of us pull it over we start wiggle wiring that simple that fast i didn't know about 20 30 minutes we'll be done with top plastic the uh, side walls take quite quite a bit of time because you got to figure out the angle here and pull it out straight and whatnot and then of course you got the doors and a lot more wiggle wire and whatnot but either on the top there it's one straight strand of wiggle wire in the ridge and that's it Alrighty, so we are getting ready to pull plastic we went ahead and unrolled it here and the way we do it is we get softballs now I'll show you guys on the next one here real quick. I just tie a bunch of knots here so it won't come undone. But I'll show you right here. You grab a softball, put it underneath this side right here. And the reason you want to put it underneath this side because you guys see all those pruning pipes. It's got to go overneath over those pruning pipes. Put it over like that. You squeeze it good two, 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 three times. And then you spin this around here like that. Just like that. And just go ahead and tie a knot just like that simple as can be now we're choking the plastic it gives the ball a little bit of grip and now whenever someone pulls someone for the string it's going up there
y'all so it is currently friday january i forget what day it is let me see here let me see what day oh january 8th we finally pulled plastic on high tunnel number three here on tuesday and then wednesday i got my wisdom teeth removed so that's why if i'm speaking a little you know you know mumbling or something it's because of my uh, i got my wisdom teeth pulled out and that's been a fun job as you can see here this is high tunnel number three plastic is pulled and the only thing we got to do left on it to be completely finished is finish off putting in these pockets here for the current system val and i did this pocket here or mainly him on tuesday before we got done once plastic was on and then we got to do the other three pockets and of course we still got to install the doors here but other than that everything else is finished we got to put more rock here to continue on the driveway but look how nice that plastic came out and that's why you need a really warm day to pull plastic just because if not your plastic will be really 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 loose let's go ahead and take a look inside here and show you guys so like i said we still gotta put the doors up here and uh finish off the pockets there in the corner but that's it high tunnel number three is pretty much finished i mean it's complete ready for growing so this is a nrcs high tunnel equipped uh tunnel so we got the funding through the nrcs i already went ahead and called our local rep and he already came out here and inspected the tunnel and he's getting the paperwork in so we get reimbursed for our money so how the system works is we have to pay for it up front so right now as it says this is our tunnel right now we paid for it for our own money out of our own bank account and then once the usda comes out here they take pictures and inspect everything and then they go ahead and reimburse you the money so that's how that program works so he already been out here taking a few pictures and whatnot and now we are ready to uh, start growing in it so this is going to be pretty much it for today it's a lot warmer here even though it's really cold day here on the farm and it's supposed to be cold for the next couple of weeks hey that's part of it it is january if it would be july i would be complaining but hey it is january so no complaints here but this is going to be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day, and we will see you next time.